How would you feel about school taking up an extra hour every day to teach basic adult stuff like washing clothes, basic cooking, paying taxes? I'd be opposed to the extra hour. But not the activity school was already an 8 hour a day thing, pushing it up to 9 hours means it actually becomes longer than a full time job. And that's before you get to homework and shit like that. If anything the school day should be shorter. Or keep it 8 hours in the building but leave two or three of those for students to work on homework with a teacher around when they need help guidance or just for them to socialize in a somewhat structured way. Expecting kids teens to maintain any level of engagement and discipline for eight hours straight is psychotic. It's a system built by nerds and sadists. Yep kids are already overworked as are adults. We'd all benefit from a reduction in work. Yep kids are already overworked as are adults. We'd all benefit from a reduction in work. But school is just too long, he spoke, for all us tiny younger folk, whose lives are hard enough ahead for years to come, and that's a joke. With just a little time, he said, an extra hour or two in bed, we'd all be sweet and starry eyed, and well prepared to work instead. And though his words were justified, his teacher sadly so replied, just wait until you're old, he sighed, just wait until you're old, he sighed. My rural ass school did this in the OOs. Home EC, sewing, taxes, cooking, woodworking, etc. could even get into metalworking, accounting, quilting, pottery, etc. if you wanted to. My school did the same. I was a good student but at that age you just don't realize the valuable information they're giving you, you kept the information long enough to pass the tests and then you went and got alcohol poisoning in a field while your parents thought you were at a movie with Nicole and Becky. My school had a class like that. Most of the classmates didn't pay attention and now complain 10 years later that they never learned about taxes and credit card interest. Also some parents were super upset about the school overstepping their boundaries by teaching basic budgeting, I can't imagine that situation has gotten any better in the last 10 years. I'm not against the class being taught, but at the at the end of the day you have to realize that all that stuff is easily learned once you are an adult with just a minimum amount of research. If someone isn't taking the 15 minutes it takes to learn how to wash their clothes properly or watch a YouTube video for a basic recipe as an adult when they actually need to do those things to function, no way in hell as a teen would they pay attention to a class that tried to teach them that. It's still a good idea to have the class, but it isn't some magical fix everyone seems to think it is. I am against the adding an extra hour of school though on top of regular school though. This. People love to parrot this idea. I promise you that for 90% of students it won't be any different from any other class, they just won't care. Seriously thank you. I hate it so much when people say this. I literally had these classes in high school and nobody cared and now everyone blames teachers for not teaching them things when it's like yeah, if you paid attention at all in 9th and 12th grades you'd know what credit cards taxes are and how to sew but no. I used to say things like school never taught me how to write a resume or a cover letter. Then I remembered a class I totally flunked called personal learning which taught how to do a cover letter, how to do resumes, how to apply for uni. Shot myself in the foot there. At least you admit it. Ha ha ha. For real, most people just make reddit posts about how this thing that already exists should exist or not. This used to be called home EC and most schools had it. Then boomers did away with it because it cost too much. Now they make fun of young people for not knowing things they would have learned in home EC. In my high school, home EC was for girls and all the guys took wood shop. It spent a few hours a weekend helping my dad build stuff since I was little, and I decided it'd rather hang out with girls for an hour than build a birdhouse or something. Best decision ever. We made cakes, learned how to negotiate rent, and sewed clothing. It wasn't exactly academically challenging, but it was a lot of fun. No regrets at all on that one. Negotiate rent? Renter dear landlord, I would like to pay less rent landlord no. For real please share with the class this negotiating rent you speak of. Ooh. I did this once. I was all set on signing the lease on this place. I liked everything about it, and the rent was within my budget. But in my two conversations with the landlord, I got the feeling that I could get away with it if I tried. So I asked if I could pay 50 bucks less a month. She just kinda shrugged and said yeah why not. I did this. Rent was $680 for a trailer, and I was like how about $640? I was hoping to pay $600 or less. Landlord was like okay. Lol. Edit note this was a private owner. Meaning, 
I wasn't renting an apartment from a company but a trailer from a person. They do it already. It's called life skills here. Edit, 8 hours. It's only 6 here and we get it done. WTF you wasting 3 hours on every day. More classes, from what I remember. When I was in school, in the USA, during like my second or third year, they added another class to the schedule, so we were learning from 7 different classes then. Don't remember much of it now, not even what classes they all were lol. I'm in high school, age 14 to 18, and have 8 classes. I'm allowed to choose a study hall which is just nothing for 90 minutes, but I didn't because that's a waste of time for me school is a bitch. I have 8 classes too, technically 9 because I have an online class even though it's really easy. The only free period I have is my lunch. I and many other people would have chosen a study hall but it tanks your class rank so people who care about that can't take a study hall. I am opposed to it. There's no reason parents can't teach these things to their kids while doing said tasks. School isn't responsible for every single thing. Also, with the internet, if a parent doesn't know, changing a tire, for example, they can easily learn. Yup, school can't teach literally everything. Most of what you need to learn outside of school can be done with skills you get in school. Laundry and basic cooking isn't that hard as long as you have the skills to complete high school. I think it should be optional because not everyone has a parental figure that will teach these things though. That's just home easy. My home ex class was baking cookies and eating them in the next class. I can't remember anything else. See, you took home existentialism. You were supposed to take home economics. Those are the things that a competent parent should teach their child. Agreed. And not all of us have competent parents. Did they ever do vision and hearing tests at your school? Just very simple, basic is this picture clear or blurry? And raise your hand every time you hear a beep. I used to think it was so stupid. I'd come home and complain to my dad that we wasted time doing this, when I already know I have perfect vision and hearing because the doctor told me so last time I saw the doctor. Yeah, that's for the kids whose parents don't take them to the doctor. My public school had classes that teach these things. I graduated high school a decade ago. I took home economics and learned how to cook. I took financial literacy to learn about taxes and budgeting and investing. Is Utah just way ahead of the other states or is this a made-up issue? I've seen people that took these classes at my school post memes about not learning how to pay taxes and shit. I wonder if the real problem is that nobody remembers this stuff cause they teach it to you when it isn't relevant to your life. I graduated from a Utah high school in 2019. Financial literacy was very much a requirement. Although, I thought the subject matter taught was very broad. I think the majority of people who claim that schools never taught them these skills never paid attention in class. Washing clothes? So you put the clothes in, some detergent, push a button, then dryer, then a hanger? If you can't figure out washing clothes or cooking on your own, definitely shouldn't be allowed to drive. Taxes, debt and personal finance is something that should be taught. A kid at my college brought a box full of pre-measured Ziplocs of laundry detergent that had printed directions in every bag. Like, I want to believe washing clothes is easy but then I'd see him in the laundry room reading the directions every time. Honestly one of the best use cases for Tide Pods. Okay, I ate one. Now what? I think that they already waste enough time and it would be worse for kids whose parents already taught them that stuff. Washing clothes is really a 20 minute lesson, and cooking taxes have their own elective classes already. I would say the parents should be doing that. Why even have the kid if you want the teachers to raise them? Yeah, you'd be better off just adding a class called how to be a ducking parent and teach your kids basic ass shit 101. Your grandparents had home economics classes for the girls in shop, trades, classes for the boys. Every once in a while a member of the opposite sex would sign up for and take the wrong class, to much humor. They don't teach home EC or have shop classes anymore. No. My high school does not have a home EC class and has not had one for years. It used to have a wood shop class up until a few years ago, but the old superintendent of the district was a hardcore penny pincher cost saver so he got rid of wood shop and a bunch of other more expensive classes. Closest thing to home EC is a garden and kitchen class at the middle school, which I took for two semesters and was one of the most useful classes I had at the time. 